welcome to my channel and here i'm going to show you how to construct a triangle that is equal in area to a given polygon with an external angle how to construct a triangle that is equal in area to a given polygon with an external angle so the dimensions of the polygon are be giving you as the starts and then the external angle that uh, we are going to use and uh, we uh, also let you know when we begin the construction so let us start okay so uh, the first that we need to do is to construct the given polygon so i'm going to construct the given polygon so we need to draw a horizontal line like this then the next that we are going to do is that on this line on this horizontal line so we take uh, length AB of the polygon as 40 millimeters. So the polygon is going to be an irregular pentagon, an irregular pentagon. That's a five sided polygon. So this is point A and this is point B here. So the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw a line BC. So a line BC will be at a particular angle to the horizontal so i will make that uh, line to be at an angle of 80 degree to the horizontal so with my protractor being set like this so the line is at 80 degree to the horizontal so i'm going to draw this line so draw this line like this then i want the length of bc i want it to be 60 degree Meters, 60 millimeters so i will take 60 millimeters and this is 60 millimeters so then this point is point c here so we are working on the given polygon first so the length ab of the given polygon is 40 millimeters and the length bc of the given polygon is 60 millimeters also the i'm going to draw line ae line ae so line AE or side AE. So side AE will be at an angle of 100 degree to the horizontal. So putting my protractor at this point A here. So I'm going to take 100 degree. So this 100 degree. So why we have it as 80 degree on this side? If it is the interior angle. Okay, so the interior angle. So I also take it as 80 degree. So this is 80 degree so if i draw a line a line from here so if i draw a line from here so this line is at angle 80 degree to the horizontal so now then i'm going to take a measurement of a or side a so i want that to be uh 20 millimeters so 20 millimeters so this is point E at this point. Then the exterior angle, I'm going to construct it. I'm going to construct it around this side here. So what I need to do. So I'm going to make the exterior angle. I'm going to make it to be an angle, uh, an angle 120 degree. 120 degree. So that is the external angle. External angle that we are given. 120 so this is 120 here so this 120 i'm going to draw a line so i'm going to draw a line so in this direction so then on this line i will take the measurements so this is point e here so here we are point e at this point so i'm going to take a measurement of 30 millimeters 30 millimeters along this line 30 millimeters along this line so this is 30 millimeters this is 30 and that's to get from d so this is from d so here we have d here so that is from d so the next thing i'm going to do is that i will join c d together to complete the given polygon okay so join c d together like this to complete the given polygon so this is the given polygon so as we have constructed it so don't forget that i made the line the length or the side 
A B to the 40 millimeters. So that is what I chose to use. And then I made side B C to the 60 millimeters and side A E is 20 millimeters. So the exterior angle that we constructed here is 120 degree. Or that is the external angle. 120 degree. That is what I chose to use. So let me give you something different in the exam. So just go on the way I did it here. So this external angle is very very important for this construction because we are constructing a triangle which is equal in area to this given polygon with an external angle. Okay, so the external angle is this angle that we have here which is 120 degree. Okay, so I also want to make this line side CD to be a little bit more feasible. So we have it here. Okay. Alright, so the next that we are going to do now is to construct that triangle that is equal in area to this given polygon. So let's start. So what we need to do first is to join points AD. So we join AD in straight line like this. Join AD in a straight line. So that is the first thing that we need to do. Then the next thing that we are going to do is that so we take our set square and set it along the line AD as you can see it here. So you support it to the then you shift it to point E, shift to point E like this. Then you draw a line from point E to midline AB at this point. So this point is point F. Okay, so in this case, this line EF, line EF is parallel to line AD. So let's take note of that. Line EF is parallel to line AD. So let's take note of that. The next thing that we are going to do is that we, we also join BD together. We join BD together like this. We join BD together, this straight line. Okay. So now, so having joined BD together, so we take our set square, so we take our set square and we set it along AB, uh, sorry, BD, set along BD, like this, we set it along BD, so let me bring it down a bit, so we set along BD like this, then we shift the set square to point C, we shift the set square to point C, yeah, so I need to extend this line. I want to extend it and do that. So I need this to be extended. So this is okay. So we set the set square along VD. So as you can see here, like this. Then we shift the set square to point C. We shift the set square to point C. So I need to bring this to down or I need to use something as a longer set square so let me make use of this so this is better so i set it along bd like this okay so we set it along bd then we shift the set square to point c so shift the set square to point c like this okay so this is point c all right so we draw line so from C to meet this AB extended, AB extended. So in this case, so this point is point G. So this is point G here. Yeah. So then next that we are going to do is that for that, so we have that this line CG is parallel to line BG. It's parallel to line BG. Let's take note of that. So then, next that we are going to do is that we have to construct that triangle that is equal in area to this polygon A, B, C, D, E with an external angle that we have here. So to construct that triangle, so what we need to do is that we join F, D together or D, F. So we join D, F together or F, D like this. Okay, so we join together like this, and then so we join DG together. We join DG together with a straight line. So we join DG together like this, with a straight line. Okay. 
Okay, so then we also made this line FG to be a thick line. To be a thick line. Alright, so this is how to construct a triangle that is equal in area to a given polygon with an external angle. So what I'm saying is this that triangle DFG triangle DFG is the required triangle that is equal in area to the given polygon A B C D E with an external angle that you constructed here. So this is how to construct a triangle that is equal in area to a given polygon with an external angle. It's as simple as I've done it here. All you need to do is to practice when you practice it become a master at it. Thank you and God bless you.